The first time you accelerate in a Tesla, your perspective on what an automobile can be shifts. It's an unforgettable experience. It is something you will truly never forget. The G-forces surrounded by silence is truly remarkable. It's something that really feels impossible, yet here it is behind me. It's pushing the limits of the car in collaboration with surrounding G-forces that really prevents the car from being boring. The groundbreaking technology, blistering acceleration, and handling of a supercar all combine to make this an absolute dream to drive. The man who's making space travel an available option is also the one responsible for making these vehicles. Time and time again, I constantly heard electric cars won't make it, their range isn't as good as combustion engines, and they aren't enough places to charge it. Well, here we have the new Model 3, which disproves all of that. My name is Nikolai. I like to film and build cool cars. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you stay up to date. We're gonna learn a whole lot about cars and see some pretty cool stuff. Let's jump into the video. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So this time we have the 2021 Tesla Model 3 Long Range All Wheel Drive. It's a super cool car, but before we jump into the video, I wanna give a huge thank you to Tesla of Savannah for providing this vehicle and allowing this review to happen. Now let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So the Tesla cars are really unique and they really are going for a niche market, but now it's actually becoming a lot larger. But the cool thing about Tesla's is 15 years ago, an electric car was like unheard of. It was, it just sounded impossible. Their range wasn't good enough. They're not fast enough. They're too boring, et cetera, et cetera. Well, now we have the Model 3 right here, which disproves all of that. So it's a really unique car and this goes for mostly Teslas and Teslas are truly one of a kind. You drive any other car, this car will feel 10 times or 10 years newer. It's insane. You get into any car in this price range and then sit in this car, you will literally feel like you're in the future, which is awesome. But what I love is that they're not too futuristic. Like they don't look anything out of place. A lot of electric cars, at least from like 10, you know, five to 10 years ago, they would just look really odd because they would try to be something futuristic or just try to be something other than a car, which is crazy because here we have this luxury car, which Tesla is definitely a luxury brand and it just looks amazing. It's not trying to be anything else. It's not too crazy. The lines are really beautiful. The architecture on this car just looks amazing. And overall, I really do love it. And let's just go ahead and start off with the front. So right here on the front bumper, with this being an electric vehicle, we actually don't have a front grille. So it's super cool because we have this like shaved front end. Now we do have a little grill down here, but it's not like what you'd see typically on a like gasoline or combustion powered car. So it's just really cool that we have this shaved painted front bumper. I just love the way it looks. I think it's really a unique look and not many cars get something like this. It's really a unique only to test the thing that you'll get. So moving along, I just love these headlights. The white paint with the like white little blade here on the headlights, it just looks so good. It's a really nice white light. And especially when you're driving it at night, you really can see a lot. And they also have like the auto brightness adjustment when you're driving it, which is so cool. And then moving on to the side of the car. Now these wheels, a lot of people don't like the way they look, but oh man, the, just the technology and the engineering behind these wheels is so impressive. So with an electric vehicle, What's actually super important is you wanna get the most range you can get. And with this being the long range model, you wanna especially get as much range as you can get. So aerodynamics truly come into play here because these wheels, if you take these blades off, they actually do look very cool underneath. And I'm a huge fan of the way they look, but with these little blade covers here, they actually increase aerodynamics, therefore increasing the total range you can get with the car. Now, yes, there are other factors to in include here, like the way you drive the car, what you're using, you know, like air conditioning, the temperature outside, things like that all play a role here. But 
the simple fact that installing these on the car will actually increase your range is just so awesome. And truthfully, I think they look kind of cool. Like what cars have something like this? It's just a really unique look and I love it. With this model, they've actually updated it. So now we have black trim. So you can see we got the black here on this camera and then also black along this trim here. I just think it looks so good. Definitely an improvement over the chrome. And then we've also got the black door handles, which looks amazing on the pearl white paint here. And then moving along to the top of the car, we actually have a panoramic roof, which is fully glass and when you're down in the car you can actually look up and wow you can see the sky it's so awesome a lot of people really consider this like a built-in ND filter which is pretty funny because you know when you're sitting in the car it does affect the way the lighting is and it's for a good reason uh, it definitely makes it a lot more comfortable and it's not too harsh on you when you're sitting inside the car and if even if you're filming inside the car it actually really adjusts the lighting to make it look really good which is awesome it is a very small car but if you sit on the inside you can really feel like you have a lot of space and then also you know with the front trunk the rear trunk you really have everything you need in this little package and for the price it's awesome because even going into like performance, you're literally getting supercar territory of performance for the price of a regular sedan, which is awesome. And it's definitely not a regular sedan, which is the cool thing because this car is just so competitive in the market because what you're getting for how much it costs is amazing. You're getting that supercar territory for performance. You know, it's a very quick car in acceleration. And then also just comfort wise, it's got the luxury and also it's a very quiet ride. And also like, even if you wanna take this car cornering, it can do it, it truly can do everything. It's really not like it's better at one thing than, than at the other. It can really do everything and it does it all very well, which is awesome. And now let's talk more so about the range of this vehicle. So Tesla actually has supercharger stations all around the world where you can actually go and supercharge your vehicle and they actually have a map on the inside this, to display where that supercharger is. So a lot of people would worry that you can't charge this car, but you can literally charge it at home, at a supercharger, it's really awesome. And the car typically won't really want you to die on it, obviously, so if, it's, if it sees that something's like, you know, the battery's dying, it's gonna direct you to the closest place that you can charge it, which is awesome. Who would have thought that this car could be so smart? It literally knows everything. Right, so for the rear of the car, this thing looks amazing in the back. I'm really happy with how Tesla designed the car because as you can see, it's like a hatchback crossover design, so it looks really good. And then if we go here to the rear bumper, because it is an electric vehicle, you actually don't see any exhaust tips. It's a really smooth, flat design no need for any exhaust tips. And then the one thing that actually differentiates this model, which is the long range from the base model, is simply just this dual motor right here. Now, if it was a performance, it would actually have like a different batch here, but that's really the only distinction that you can see. And then moving along to the side of the car from you know this back angle, the silhouette design I think looks really cool. It's a very unique design and just looks amazing, especially with the panoramic roof and then like the way the, the taillights here have like the C shape. I just think it looks really good and everything just flows and works and it's just a really good looking car. So with this being an electric vehicle, what's super cool is you get a lot of technology into this car that you don't get with other cars. It's truly one of a kind and specific to Teslas. So what's cool about this car is you have something called regenerative braking. So first of all, the brakes just feel amazing on this car but you actually have a mode on here called regenerative braking where once you let off the throttle you can actually have the car use regenerative braking to essentially recharge the car so you can get a few more miles like it's not enough to the point where you don't ever have to charge the car again but it is enough to where because of that regenerative braking it's able to I, I understand this correctly it takes the heat from the brakes and somehow converts it into energy that is used for the, like powering the car so it's really cool that they're like the whole idea of this car is efficiency. So you're literally using things like the brakes to charge the car, which is so insane. And it's actually a really interesting drive because what's awesome is you have a few modes on the car. So you have like creep mode and, and roll mode. So basically you can have it run like a gasoline car where you, you, know, you let off the brake and it slightly rolls for you until you give it gas to go. Or you can actually have it run how basically like an electric car is just naturally where if you let off the brake, it actually will just not go anywhere it will just kind of stay in place until you give it gas. And then also it's just really cool because like I said, you also have the regenerative braking added in there. So when you let off of the gas or the, the throttle, it actually will apply the brake slightly to do that, which is a super cool feeling because when you're driving around town, they call it like one foot driving where you almost don't need to use your brakes because the car is doing it for you through regenerative braking, which is really awesome that it's efficient and overall just a really comfortable ride because of it. So in regards to efficiency, let's go ahead and open up the frunk on this car and show you guys just how cool it is. So when you open it up, you can actually see that 
we don't have an engine here so we actually have a front trunk also known as a frunk which is awesome so not only do we have interior space and also the rear trunk we have a front trunk now which is just awesome so i really love this car because it's efficient you literally allocate all the space in the car all the braking all the energy that's going through this car is being reallocated which is awesome so yes the front trunk is not that large but the fact that you have something here is awesome and also it's just a really clean luxury look you know you've got your plastic surrounding it with the rubber trim it's really nice and i do definitely love having this option here and you might only fit like a handbag or a backpack in here but just regardless it's so awesome that you have this option that most other cars don't and this is really unique to tesla i really love the interior on this car it's so minimal it's so simplistic but it really does everything you need now just starting off with like what you see in front of you as the driver so contrary to what most cars have we don't really have a speedometer or anything right here in front of us to display what you have with a regular car it's actually all here in this display so a lot of people say like the tesla ipad i think it's actually pretty cool because truthfully like what all do you need in the car you don't need all that to really be able to drive it and just enjoy it because truth is if everything's right there that's all you need no point in scattering it making it look like a whole mess and just there's no point in that and tesla really made it simplistic and just kind of gave you everything you need you've got your brake your gas or accelerator i guess now it can't even be a gas pedal and then your steering wheel so a lot of stuff is just controlled from this ipad actually most of the stuff or all of the stuff is controlled from the ipad which is pretty funny and i don't think it's called an ipad but that's just what i like to call it and it's just overall really nice so you can also get this this wood here which looks so good i just love the interior and also the leather what most people probably don't know is the leather in this car is actually vegan it's a leather et which is so cool now it's just really nice because like i just i support it i think it's awesome that they're using vegan leather in the car and just the nice wood grain the quality in here is amazing a lot of people say teslas don't have the best quality but from my experience and what i've seen with this car especially with it being a 2021 a little bit newer than like the other ones that have the issues it overall has really good quality and there's nothing to complain about. So if you buy this car, you're actually essentially getting a Tesla screen with a car included. And I say that as a joke because there's just so much technology packed into the screen that we're about to show you guys. And it's just really awesome that a lot of the tech in this car is in this screen rather than the car. Now, yes, the car itself has so much technology to it. You know, it's a, it's a nice, comfortable ride. It looks great. But we're about to show you everything that's in the screen because there's so much that you can adjust, that you can change, that you can do that no other car has. It's really, truly one of a kind for Teslas and it's just overall a really cool thing. So let's go ahead and dive into it and show you. The screen has its main features. So it has like your quick control. So you have like your lighting on, off, auto, and then the locks. And then also you have your display settings. And then with driving, you can actually adjust driving mode. So like sport, comfort, normal, creep, roll. It's really unique how many things you can change. And then even with autopilot, you can adjust just how many things you want it to be. So it's very specific to you and you can really fine tune the car. So now moving on to the music, you actually have Spotify and then as well as your other music stations that you can listen to and then actually display the cameras while you're driving. So if you want to just see behind you or to the side of you while you're driving, you can also do that. And then when you go to the other features, you can actually, if you hold down on call button, you can actually change it to a hoy hoy, which is awesome. And then if you just hold it again, it'll go back to call. For the seat heaters, we actually have what looks like burnt bacon, which is super cool. So you just click it one, two, three, and it'll adjust if you want it once, twice, or you know, in the third level of heating. The AC in this car is very cool because you actually can't see the AC theoretically because there's no vents, even though it is like right across the entire dashboard, but it looks very seamless. So it's super cool how you can't really see it. And then adjusting it, it also is really cool through the screen. And then now moving on to navigation, you can actually see just how big the display is to display all of your navigation, which is awesome. And you can even see like your charging stations. So it'll tell you how many booths are open for you to be able to charge, which is super cool because, you know, it's like it would suck to go there and then boom, they're all taken up and you can't charge. So it lets you know ahead of time just how many are available for you to charge on. And then, you know, even you can zoom out and see all of the locations, which there's a ton across the US, which is really good. And then there's even a few Easter eggs with the car that not many people know about. So let's go ahead and show you those. So we have like the fireplace, the fart sounds, and even like video games you can play, which are super cool. So let's go ahead and show you guys all of those.
So anytime you use the turn signal, it'll just fart. But other than that, let's go ahead and take the Model 3 for a drive and see how it feels. All right, so setting off in the Model 3 and right off the bat, oh my, do I love this thing. It is just so smooth. like. Just driving it here, it's really such a refined feeling and you just don't get this with an internal combustion engine. I mean, it's just, it's one of those things that's just like, I think now that I've driven this car and I've actually spent some time with it, I'm gonna wanna actually like get a Tesla, which is crazy because going to my, you know, gasoline powered car, it's gonna be like, oh, like this thing's outdated, this thing feels old, you know, blah, blah, blah. Versus this, it's just so refined and luxury that riding in it here, I'm like, I don't want to get in anything other than, you know, a Tesla now. But, you know, I just love it because the interior in this car is so simplistic and the quality of the materials is amazing. So I love the mix of materials. So this one has the black interior with the wood grain. So we do have black Alcantara over here on the door. And then we also have wood grain as well as a lot of leather in this car. There really is not much plastic in this car. And if it is, it's very soft touch plastic. And the things that te Tesla does is just so innovative because like, no other car company has an interior like this. I mean, what car company has an interior with the screen and that's literally all you get. You don't really need much more and it's totally plenty. I mean, even doing this car review, it's so nice being able to talk to the camera and actually like have a, a conversation with you like where you can actually hear me very clearly because yes, if you drive like a stock, you know, gasoline powered car, that's more of a luxury car, you're not really gonna hear the engine at all. But with this, it just takes it to the next level to the point where you don't hear anything at all. Maybe a slight road noise, but even now, like, I don't know, do you guys hear a road noise? Because it's very, I mean, it's, it's very minimal. It's not even there at all. And I've been driving this thing for a good bit and the range is still there. Like the battery hasn't gone down much. And it's just awesome because you really, it's one of those things where once you drive it, you'll understand like the technology is there and it's an amazing driving experience. And even if you want, you can just put your foot down. <laughs> it's like, it's just so fast. Like that was actually in chill mode. So you can really fine tune the way this car feels for you. So right now, just, you know, I'm just driving normally. I have it in chill mode and comfort mode and then Later on in this video, we'll be able to take it into sport mode and then have it the acceleration in standard, which really changes the way the car feels. So with it in chill mode, every time I floor it, it actually eases into it. So you can see like it's a very slow progressive, you know, like the acceleration there is, it's not slow, but it's progressive and like the smoothness is very slow. That's what I mean by slow. The actual, you know, G-force pushing you back is very evident. And you know, with this car having the battery mounted to the floor, like literally the very bottom of this car is the battery, which takes up a lot of weight. The cornering ability of this car is just phenomenal. So let's go ahead and take it through this corner here and see how it feels. I mean, it just, it grips. Like this is so much mechanical grip to it and it just goes, it just shoots and it's amazing. There's really nothing to complain about with this car because the truth is, it's not like it's boring because you can't hear an engine. Like, at least for someone like me, I'm like, oh, I, I love it. Like not being able to hear an engine is just phenomenal. <laughs> it's just so fun to drive. So the brake pedal in this car is actually very interesting. So it's all, you know, electronic through the computer. It's all programmed to be very smooth and all that, but there's actually a mode which is with the regenerative braking where when you let off the off the gas, it actually slows down slightly. So you can see like, I'm gonna let off and it slows down. And it slows down a lot more than like a gasoline car. When you drive a gasoline powered car and you let off the gas, it will actually just coast like, you know, most cars that we're used to. But with this car, with having its regenerative braking, I let off and I feel it kind of come to a stop. 
and the cool thing is is you can actually do one foot driving and essentially what that means is the gas pedal is your brake pedal at the same time so with the regenerative braking you just let off the gas and it will come to a complete stop because with an electric car it doesn't have to have that slow idle speed it can actually be tuned you know through the programming to decide whether or not you want to have that roll so you have creep roll and hold mode in this car which is you know considered your stopping mode and essentially what you're able to do is when you come to a complete stop you can actually let off the gas and the brake and it will not go anywhere you can really fine-tune this car to feel how you want and i just i really love it i look at it this way if a car is able to put a smile on your face it's a fun car if you know there's a lot of cars out there where you floor it and I'm like, okay, whatever. You can't corner, it can't do anything, but this car can corner, it has it in it, you know, it has the acceleration. Like what more is there to want? So let's go ahead and go from chill to standard and then steering mode will go into sport and let's launch this thing. So let's go ahead and take off here and get to a spot where we can launch it because this thing is just crazy with acceleration. And this is gonna be my first time feeling it. Um, I'm not really sure what to expect because like I said, I've come from only uh, gasoline powered cars where, you know, they have a, uh, a transmission which actually has to transmit the power, you know, hence the name transmission because you have all your gears, like my car is a six speed. So I have to go through all the gears in order to actually get some torque out of it. But this being electric has instant torque. So let's go ahead and stop it here and do a launch. So we're gonna come to a complete stop. I'm just gonna hit it. Oh my god! Whoa. Wow! <laughs> oh, this thing is so much fun! Wow! Oh my goodness! You, the force you feel, and this isn't even the performance. This, oh, I need to, I need to catch my breath in this car. This is how fast it is. You literally just, the moment you hit like the accelerator pedal, it just goes. And what I've actually seen or heard is with some of these electric cars, you know, like maybe like the Model 3 Performance or even like the the S Performance, is what happens is there's so much G-force and the acceleration is so precise is that sometimes when you accelerate hard enough, your foot actually isn't able to hold down onto the gas pedal all the way. So you have to fight the G-force just to push the gas pedal down and even rolling, right? So we're doing a roll and we'll go a little bit slower here and then I'll be able to just hit the gas and it's just gonna go. So ready? <laughs> this thing just goes, it's incredible. And it just does not stop. Oh my goodness. This thing is fast. <laughs> and the best part is you don't even hear anything. Like it's just so quiet that it's amazing. this car and I think for the most part everyone would enjoy something like this because whether it's your daily driver your weekend car your fun car you can track this thing too if you want it I mean it has the handling so if I go side to side here yeah it's it's got everything you need so it's quite awesome that it's just such a comfortable car but yet it's so much fun to drive like everyone says oh electric cars can't be fun but once you really drive it it's so much fun all right guys so I want to get my mom's reaction here. So now we have my mom sitting here passenger and we're going to get her reactions. She's never ridden in a Tesla or even any fast car in general. So let's go ahead and launch the car and see how she reacts. Ready? I'm going to go on one, three, two. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, that's cool. <laughs> So there you have it. That was a 2021 Model 3 Long Range all-wheel drive. It's a super cool car and huge thank you to Tesla Savannah for providing the vehicle and allowing this review to happen. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video and want to see many more just like it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.